So BuzzFeed just got caught sharing hoax misinformation about the Notre Dame fire. And then blamed me for sharing hoax misinformation about the Notre Dame fire. While the blaze was still raging, I posted this tweet in which I stated a brief summary of who is responding to the tragic Notre Dame fire with smiley faces on Facebook. The video attached to this tweet was a live Facebook feed of the Notre Dame fire. In this video, you can see a list of who was reacting in real time to the fire with smiley emoticons. Take a good, long look. The video clearly shows the Notre Dame Cathedral burning in the background. And here's the original Facebook video from where my tweet was grabbed. It's a page called Brute. It has over 7 million views. Now you see, Brute was live at Notre Dame Paris. You can check all this for yourself. Again, you see the Notre Dame burning in the video. It's the same video that I tweeted. And this screenshot from the original Live at Notre Dame video shows people reacting with smiley faces as Notre Dame burns. Now, how do you think BuzzFeed reported on this? In a giant article about hoaxes and misinformation surrounding the Notre Dame fire, BuzzFeed's Jane Litvinenko wrote the following. There's zero evidence Muslims were responding to the fire with smiley faces. Paul Joseph Watson tweeted a link to a video that claimed to show Muslim people celebrating the fire. Critically, the video in question does not show what people on Facebook were reacting to. It's also impossible to know the religious views of each person reacting to a video en masse. So we really have no idea what was going on here. And there is no proof to back up this claim. Really? Well, first, I never said it showed, quote, Muslim people celebrating the fire. That's lie number one. It wasn't even in my tweet. And secondly, yes, the video does show what people were reacting to. They're reacting to the Notre Dame fire. It's right there in the background at the start of the frigging clip. And here's the original where they're quite clearly reacting to the Notre Dame fire with smiley faces. The video was authentic. And it's in the video. So BuzzFeed published fake news claiming I was engaged in a hoax when they were the ones engaged in the hoax. Oh yeah, and Jane, putting a stupid nope yellow sticker on my tweet doesn't invalidate its accuracy. Even this tweet is wrong. She claims this screenshot also doesn't show the video itself. Yes, it does. Here's the video. You lied. You were called out for it. I asked you for a retraction on numerous occasions and you did Nothing. You're deliberately putting out fake news. This is why you suck. This is why no one trusts you. This is why BuzzFeed is going bust and laying off staff left, right and centre. As to the wider question of were Muslims celebrating the fire, which I never even said in the tweet, but they say I said it, so I guess let's just go with it. Let's take a closer look. This is called research, BuzzFeed. You should try it sometime. Here's a selection of comments I grabbed from just two threads about the Notre Dame fire from France 24 Arabic's Facebook page. These comments are all translated from Arabic. What were these people saying about the fire? I am disappointed for the lack of charred bodies in this festive party. What a wonderful moment, God thank you. I dedicate this wonderful and beautiful fire to my family. Congratulations, hopefully the mass destruction of France. It's a beautiful fire, OMG, the most beautiful fire in the world. We announce the sympathy of our full solidarity with the fire. Unfortunately, the entire structure did not collapse. I am sympathetic to the fire. I dedicate this fire to all the Algerian people. And we wish another fire. God willing, the next on the Eiffel Tower. I am very happy, smiley face, smiley face, to see part of France burning. People were even posting gifts which said, yay, I'm so happy, and celebrate. Again, these comments were grabbed from just two small sections of two threads. From what I saw, nearly every other comment was celebrating the fire. Let's look at how Al Jazeera viewers were reacting to the fire. Here's how they reacted to stories about the fire on Al Jazeera's Facebook page. Again, note the names and note the smiley faces. Remember, BuzzFeed claimed, quote, there's no evidence Muslims were responding to the fire with smiley faces. Really? Let's let it run a little further so you can get a good sample of that reaction. Remember BuzzFeed, quote, there's zero evidence Muslims were responding to the fire with smiley faces. Guess I must just be imagining all these smiley faces then. Here's a screenshot from the original Facebook video, the one which BuzzFeed lied about and said was a hoax, with someone commenting, 
Ella is grand. Is that a hoax too? Am I making that up? Buzzfeed, Jane Litvinenko? Or were you the ones who put out a hoax? Unlike Buzzfeed, which apparently doesn't know how to do basic research, you could go and check all this out for yourself. The comments are all still on France 24 Arabic's Facebook page and Al Jazeera's Facebook page. Were Muslims celebrating the Notre Dame fire? Yes, it's a fact and there's evidence in abundance. And that's a big problem, that's a reality we need to face up to and have a conversation about. It's not a conversation that you can just cover up and sweep under the rug by claiming it never happened. It happened. In their morning tech newsletter, Politico also claimed, Paul Joseph Watson shared a hoax claiming Muslims were reacting positively to the fire. No, you're the one sharing the hoax, Politico, because it did happen. BuzzFeed's Ryan Broderick thinks people should be removed from Twitter for spreading, quote, misinformation. Better remove BuzzFeed then, because they're openly spreading misinformation about the reaction to the Notre Dame fire. See how this works? They lobby social media companies to deplatform me for spreading conspiracy theories when they're the ones spreading conspiracy theories. Does that mean that every Muslim was celebrating the Notre Dame fire? No. Does it mean that BuzzFeed and Politico lied in reporting that the claim Muslims were celebrating the Notre Dame fire was a hoax? Yes. Instead of denouncing the vile rhetoric of those celebrating the destruction of a cherished piece of history, BuzzFeed denounced me and ran defense for the very people spewing that vile rhetoric. Do these individuals seem to be horrified by the fire? How about these individuals? So don't get me wrong, it wasn't just Muslims who were celebrating the fire. Many leftists could barely contain their glee either. Notre Dame burning is cosmic karma for all the historical sites and artifacts France destroyed and stole when being colonialist scum. Genuinely awful, but if you mourn for this one building and not say the entirety of Syria, your white supremacy is showing. Notre Dame on fire is the most aesthetically pleasing visually I've ever seen. Notre Dame burns. For former French colonies, alongside a video of a guy laughing his head off with nearly 22 million views. Oh, but no one celebrated it according to BuzzFeed, it's just one giant conspiracy theory. This one's for colonizing African countries, bitch! Yeah. Notre Dame was completed in 1345, that's 70 years before the first wave of European colonization. Do some fucking maths, moron. So yes, people celebrated, Muslims celebrated, leftists celebrated. And what does that tell us about the state of Western civilization? They laugh, they party, they say it's karma. Then our own media runs defense for them and says all of that never happened and it's all a hoax. Now I know the Notre Dame fire was accidental, but in France, churches are being burned and desecrated on a regular basis. Public statues of Jesus and the Virgin Mary are being decapitated and destroyed, and the media barely reports on it. In France, there are 10 times the number of anti-Christian attacks compared to anti-Muslim attacks. 875 Christian churches in France were vandalized last year alone. Jews are fleeing France in record numbers. And it's time more people started talking about it. When Islamic sites are burned, attacked, or desecrated, we respect their grief and mourning, and rightly so. When Christian sites are burned, attacked, or desecrated, apparently, to a lot of people, it's just one big joke. And if you try to denounce those people for their hatred, the media will run defense for them and tear you down. They'll run a giant hoax claiming no one celebrated, and then accuse you of running a hoax for telling the truth. BuzzFeed is fake news. They lied about me, they lied to their audience and they ran defense for vile people who in real time were celebrating the Notre Dame fire. That's it, done. Consider yourself well and truly rebutted and debunked. Please click the big red button to subscribe, it really helps me when you do that, and click the bell to allow notifications so you never miss a new video.